everybody. Chris Holtz, Becca Media here. I've uh, gone shopping, hit the card aisle. You know how that goes. And I found something odd, different, weird, um, unusual from Topps. Um, they've probably been announced, but frankly, I haven't been paying that much attention to this little segment of the collectibles industry too hard. But hey, uh, what I have in me here in my hands is $7.99 starter kit of. WWE Power Chips. Mm-hmm. What caught my eye? Mean Gene Okerlund on a chip in this snazzy magnetic packaging. Apparently the power of a magnet is what powers these powerful power chips. Isn't that amazing? Oddly, I found that <clears throat> almost all of the chip displays had old guys in them which the kids these days wouldn't know, guys like Rick Rude and Gene Ogreland and um, the big boss man. But you know what? I said, that's weird enough. I'm going to buy the package so I can do this. Isn't that cool? It's powerful, man. It's powerful. It's a magnet. I think. I hope. I hope it's that kind of power. Anyway, I've pre-cut this thing to get into it faster. This is a starter kit with, uh, I believe, four packs in it. 16 chips plus my bonus. Well, I thought it was going to get me into the pack faster. Anyway, it's a bunch of stuff for playing the game, but not any Triple H there. Here's my Powerball. Reminds me of some kitty game out there. Don't know the name, but I've seen them at the store. Get my chips. Oh, it's all kinds of plastic. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess the first thing you got to do is, age of six and up, you got to be smart enough to be able to open the package without destroying any limbs. Four packs of chips. They've done non card products like this for other WWE things. And my magnetic Powerball is just crazy. Set that down. Here's my, uh, wow, the checklist on this thing could be huge. Mean Gene Okerlund is chip number one, or no, sorry, L24. I thought that was a one. Legend 24. Here's the back. Try not to let this thing fall out of my fingers. The odds of, pull, there are parallels, so to speak, chase chips. Okay. Let me get the, to the, down to the details here. Um, here's a single pack, four chips inside, game rules in every pack, thankfully. Ruby foil chips are 1 in 24, silver foil chips are 1 in 24, gold foil chips are 1 in 24. So maybe you have a 1 in 8 chance of pulling one of the three different kinds of chips, maybe. Anyway. There's no other information on the back other than a uh, no purchase necessary. Get yourself some free chips if you enter that way. Here we go. First, I'll show the instruction sheet because that's important. <clears throat> Standard chips rules. Don't ask me how it works because I haven't read it yet. I'm not going to take the time to waste your time to read it. If you pick them up, you can figure it out for yourself. Looks like whoever collects the most chips with their magnetic roll wins or something to that effect. Hmm, that's different. Anyway, my first pack of four chips. First one is Melina, who's actually been fired by the WWE, but I'm not going to mention that. Next chip, Jimmy Uso, number 58. Ooh, interesting. I don't know if this is a, a gold foil. No, apparently it's not foil. A Shawn Michaels chip, number 14. That's interesting. He's a, he's a uh, six-star chip, you know. Meanwhile, Mean Gene's a whopping two. Got a tweet, but you'll note you didn't hear anything. I turned off the volume. Some of you guys didn't like it. How about a Big Show choke slam tweet? Tweet. Chip. 
There's the back. Apparently that's a different part of the set because it's got a number F9. Everything else is numbered similar except for Mean G next pack. I bet we could do a great video demo video for this. Actually playing it with a bunch of chips. Watch out. I have a foil chip. Ooh. I'm going to save it for last. My first chip, CM Punk. With this guy, a lot of chip can happen. <clears throat> this one's cool. While CM Punk is a six-star chip, the almighty Hornswoggle is a four-star chipper. Rosa Mendez, a diva who's a two-star chip. And my foil chip, wow, this is pretty crazy. I don't know if I can contain myself. I really don't even know what color it is. It must be ruby. Yeah, it's ruby. Wow, 1 in 24. Dashing Cody Rhodes, although his dashingness is not represented on this chip. Check out that, uh, that edge there. Some glitter inside some plastic. Watch out. Whew. Loaded pack. Next pack. Man, these are tough to get into. Must be able to must be to keep all the chips from popping out of the packs. Number one in the set, number one in many of our hearts, The Undertaker. He's a six chipper or six star chip. Kofi Kingston's Trouble in Paradise is a finishing move chip number ten. Oh. Gene Mean would be proud because I just pulled a Santino Morella chip. He's a four-star chip. And my final chip in my third pack, another legend who I mentioned seeing on the top of a, a package, the big boss man. He's no longer with us. Final pack in this epic power chips video. These are tough to open. It's a chip so nice, they only gave her a star twice to go with her name, Kelly Kelly. The women's champ only gets two stars. I mean, really? Of course, I don't know. She, she might have lost the belt recently. Don't hold me to it. I got my first dupe. How about a Rosa Mendez again? A three-star superstar, Evan Bourne. And my final chip and my final pack... It's his destiny to be on a chip, right? Six stars, Alberto Del Rio, the current WWE champion. So you can learn all about playing WWE chips when you buy a pack and get the instructions. This was a starter pack of four chips, a magnet ball, and all kinds of fun waiting to be found, waiting to be had inside. So... That was 2011 WWE Power Chips from Tops. I'm Chris Solds. I'm going to go play with these chips. See you next time.